Hey everyone, today we're diving into a shocking development in the business world. Former Abercrombie & Fitch CEO Mike Jeffries has been arrested on charges related to sex trafficking. According to sources from the Eastern District of New York, Jeffries wasn't acting alone. Two of his associates, Matthew Smith and James Jacobson, have also been apprehended. So, what exactly are the charges? The indictment includes over a dozen counts, alleging that from December 2008 to March 2015, Jeffries and his associates were involved in a sex trafficking operation. They are accused of recruiting men who aspired to be models, providing them with drugs and alcohol, and coercing them into sexual acts. Now, let's break down how this alleged scheme operated. Jeffries, Smith, and Jacobson reportedly ran an international sex trafficking and prostitution enterprise. They allegedly paid for men to travel within the United States and internationally, including high-profile locations like the Hamptons, New York City, and various European countries. James Jacobson, in particular, played a key role in recruiting and interviewing men for what were described as sex parties. These events reportedly involved alcohol, drugs, and even Viagra. Jacobson is also accused of requiring potential candidates to engage in sexual acts with him during these tryouts. The indictment states that many of the men recruited were not fully informed about the nature and extent of the sexual activities expected of them. Some victims were as young as 19 years old and had previous connections to Abercrombie & Fitch, either as employees or models. The allegations against Jeffries came to light in 2023, following an in-depth investigation by the BBC. This led to a lawsuit filed by dozens of men, prompting Abercrombie & Fitch to express shock and initiate an independent investigation. Mike Jeffries served as CEO of Abercrombie & Fitch from 1992 to 2014. During his tenure, he transformed the company into a globally recognized brand. However, his time at the helm was also marked by controversial marketing campaigns and exclusionary policies. Jeffrey's resignation in 2014 was met with mixed reactions. While some celebrated the departure of his controversial vision, others acknowledged his significant role in building the brand. This recent arrest, however, casts a dark shadow over his legacy and the company he once led. So, what's next? Jeffries, Smith, and Jacobson are awaiting their initial court appearances. As this story continues to unfold, it serves as a stark reminder of the importance of ethical leadership and accountability in the corporate world. That's it for today's update. If you found this information useful, make sure to like and subscribe for more news and updates. Stay informed, stay safe. Thanks for watching.